All right, I just wanted to catch everybody up to where I am on the build here. Um, I finished my internal fillets on each one of the fins. Then I um, did some urethane foam, a two-part expanding foam, um, to fill the voids in between the, the fins in there. Um, doesn't take much. It's like um, 13 grams in each area here. Um, and this stuff is hard as a rock, as you can see. Some of the stuff left over in the cup. And um, it does a good job. You can see how hard it is to crush. It does a good job at keeping those fins locked in there. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and mount my rear centering ring down there. Um, I had to chisel out some of the the leftover foam that, that came up a little high. But um, I'm going to go ahead and permanently epoxy my rear centering ring in now. And um, we'll probably do the nose cone at the same time. Um, it's just a simple coupler goes into the nose cone like this. And then, you know, I'm going to epoxy that in there. Um, and then we're going to put a threaded rod down in there and, and epoxy it down to the bottom. But we'll get that shoulder mounted on there first. But that's where we're at right now. Next, I'm going to go ahead and glue on the... Uh, I bought a uh, motor retainer. It's a, a arrow pack. And... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and push this down on on the here. I sanded with um, 80 grit sandpaper um, all around here to get our bonding surface good. Um, and uh, I'm gonna use a mix up some JB Weld for that, and um, that'll go on there. And of course, there's the retaining ring on there. So let me go ahead and get that done. 